making chicken satay. This dish originates in Indonesia and it's a spicy chicken and it's going to have a lovely peanut sauce, but it needs to marinate. So I'm going to get the marinade together and put it on the chicken right now. So what I have is two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And this we're just gonna put in the bowl and give it a whisk. I have one clove of garlic that's minced. I have two tablespoons of a good soy sauce. I use the light. I think it has a better flavor, the light soy sauce. And I have um, a half a teaspoon of ginger that is minced. And then I'm just going to put in a pinch of salt because the soy sauce is pretty salty. I'm going to give this a whisk. So this will marinate for a minimum of 30 minutes, but overnight, you could do it overnight, would even be better. Just get more flavor into the chicken. So what I have here is chicken tenders because I'm going to skewer them. So they're all the same size and they're long, so they'll fit nicely on the skewer and they'll cook evenly because they are the same size. And you can buy them already cut up like this. That's what I did. Or you can buy chicken breast and cut your own. So I'm just gonna put this on and then I'm going to put it in the fridge for a minimum of 30 minutes. I'm making the peanut sauce for the chicken satay and I'm going to use my cheat sheet because there are a lot of ingredients. It's not a hard thing to make, but there's just a lot that goes into it. So I have this pan heating up. I'm going to put two tablespoons of vegetable oil in there. I'm going to let that warm up and I'm going to just saute until it's soft or translucent one clove of garlic and then two tablespoons of green onions or scallions and i was generous because i like these a lot so there's way more than two tablespoons but i think they're yummy so this is just going to saute and when these vegetables get soft i'm going to add the rest of the ingredients so i'm going to watch this for a minute or two so the Green onions and the garlic have softened and they're turning a little golden color so it's time to add the rest of our ingredients. So let's see, I'm going to add half a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and I'm just eyeballing that in there. And one teaspoon of chili powder. I'm going to take this off the heat until I get some more ingredients in there. Then I'm going to add half a cup of peanut butter. This is the chunky peanut butter. You definitely want chunky. Um, I think that gives the sauce like a nice crunch. And one teaspoon of light brown sugar that's packed goes in. And then one tablespoon of soy sauce. I use the light soy sauce. I think it has a better flavor. So I'm going to eyeball that. So I want to make sure one tablespoon. Put that in. I'm going to give this a stir before I add the rest of the ingredients. Once everything's in, you're just going to turn the heat down too. All right, we're cooking now. Okay, so uh, one teaspoon of paprika and then a half of a teaspoon of anchovy paste. You don't have to add this. It comes in a little container. I keep it in the fridge. Um, you don't have to add it, and you might not even know it's there. It just gives a different dimension to the sauce. Um, I think it adds a nice flavor. And then I'm going to add one tablespoon of lime juice. You could use lime or lemon, but I think the lime tastes much better than the lemon. I think the lime is a little more traditional in this sauce as well. I'm going to add about half of this just because... Oh, it's starting to smell good. I can smell the peanut butter is getting all melty. I'm going to give this a stir. And we just have a few more things to add. And the sauce is already getting nice and thick as it should. Um, and then I'm going to add, it calls for half a cup of coconut water, which you can buy now. It's probably with the international foods and it just comes as coconut water. So I'm going to add a half a cup of that. And it's clear, this actually has pulp in it, so there is P 
pieces of coconut in there. And let me make sure I have everything. So salt, chili powder, the peanut butter, brown sugar, soy sauce, paprika, anchovy paste, the lime. The so now that I'm gonna cook this just until it gets thick and the sauce is all done. So I'm gonna give this a few minutes on the heat. Okay, this sauce is all done. It's bubbling and it's thick and it's hot. So I'm gonna pour it into my dish, and then we just have to cook the chicken. We'll be ready to eat. The sauce is very yummy, and it will thicken up also while it cools. So that is the peanut sauce for the chicken satay. We're gonna finish up our chicken satay. I have skewered all of them except for one, just to show you. It's pretty simple, you just thread it back and forth through the chicken tender. And no. you'll note I'm letting PM do all the work. I noticed that. I have one, so this is a clean hand, this is a dirty hand, I'm gonna to try to keep it that way, hopefully. So now I'm gonna put them on our grill, which has been working out. These skewers were soaked in the water, as we mentioned, so they don't burn up on the grill. It's a pretty handy thing right here. So we're gonna grill them, I don't know, what do you think? Um, three minutes. Well, you don't have to turn them over on this grill, so about three minutes to keep these are chicken tenders. They're not very thick. So we'll just keep grilling. And yeah, I'm going to wash my dirty hand of white back, and then we'll eat. Okay, our chicken is done. This is the last of it coming off of our grill. It smells fantastic. I can't wait for this one. More food on a stick. We have our peanut dipping sauce that we made before, and this is it. So what a lovely thing for a party or walk around, do a little dipping, you know? Cheers. Cheers.